Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 23 of the Same Brain Podcast. Roll that intro. Hey Jenna, we've been away. We had a time. I got completely burnt out and I really honestly just didn't want to record the cast, the pod. I know. And then I really didn't want to edit the podcast because here's the thing about editing video podcasts. It's like a really long YouTube video. Very. And it takes five times the amount of time to edit. So if you have an hour podcast, it'll probably take you at, at, at the minimum five hours. Yeah, because before that we have to like sync the audio because there's so many different audio tracks and you know, just, it's just a lot, but that's okay. We're back, excited to be chatting with you guys. So much has happened over these past two weeks. And in addition to not being able to do this, like there has just been so much leading up to today. The tech season has been out of control. So the fact that we were still posting podcasts during tech season. How did that even happen? I don't know, but I think that I basically, I crashed. I crashed and burned over yeah. the past two weeks. And then I discovered that sitting on the couch and like watching shows and playing video games was incredible. Well, it's weird because I've gone back to sort of like my normal amount of work and that seems like I'm not doing anything. Yeah. And I'll still be working like eight to 10 hour days. Same, but I'll, oh, I don't know. I mean, I still am too, but I just, I feel, I feel like I should always be working, but when I'm like sitting down playing games, I'm like, this is so fun. Like this is better, but then I work till like midnight. So I yeah. don't know. So before we continue, we finally have something to show you. And if you're watching the video, you've probably already seen that we have stickers on our MacBook. We and have we stickers. Also have same brain mugs. Okay, so the mugs. This is so exciting. This is exciting because we've talked about it for the past 22 episodes. We're like, we're gonna have same brain mugs. And I ordered some to try out before we went live because I'm like, I don't want you know to commit to, or have you guys buy something that we don't stand by. So I will say that this was still one of the ones I ordered and I moved the brain up a little bit because I liked where the location was, yeah. the brain on the white mug, more centered. Um, I also think I, I personally like the white mug a little bit better, but you know what? The good news is that if you want to order them, you can choose. Yeah, and I was, when Jenna, she set up the website, we're using Spreadshirt. It's actually a site that I've used in the past and they're actually based in Pittsburgh. Did you know that? Wow. Yeah, I, I did it one time you, and now, now you, I do again. You've been reminded, yes. but um, the exciting thing is they are out and because we just launched the shop, they're giving customers, what, 15% off? What's 15% that say? 15% off for the next two weeks. Two. So we don't really have anything, you know, too crazy. We just have like a bunch of different mug options. Justine said she looked at the site and she was overwhelmed. She's like, why are there so many options? It's because our logo, we have the blue glasses, the pink glasses, and the black glasses. And then I'm like, well, obviously, like, what if you want the pink? What if you want the blue? I got so, overwhelmed. So there's there's uh, not, not, <laughs> many, not many things. I think one, at one point I thought on the website it said, Many products, one brain, but I don't, what? I don't know where that text went. Did you write that? I did. Oh, I thought it was like, that was their slogan. I'm like, I think that they took our saying. No, no, no. So we also have stickers. These are four by four inches. They're big. They are pretty big. And like, this is the tiny 13 inch MacBook Pro. So it looks massive, but they're they're pretty cool. Yeah, that's the only size that they had on the site. But I think as like a first sort of attempt at doing some sort of merch, this looks really good on the laptop. Yes, and it, Very says, excited. it says to hand wash the mugs, but I have put um, one of the mugs through an extensive dishwasher <laughs> test. It has been run nine times in a row and the logo was still there because that's my biggest concern. I'm like, what if I put this in the dishwasher and it goes away? So my other biggest concern is because mugs are fragile. Now this isn't just specific to Spreadshirt. I have ordered mugs from so many different companies and they've arrived. Shattered. In yeah. not good condition. For so, sure. You did have an issue with two of your mugs that I you ordered? I did. So I ordered a bunch and um, I think obviously it was just in like all in one box and I one of the um, handles broke off. So I contacted customer support and they're like, okay, no problem. Like we will send you, you know, um, if you want a refund, that's fine. Or if you want us to just replace it, like obviously free. So yeah, every time I've ordered mugs too, like I've always had a problem, but these ones were in good standing. And so you that's know what? great. Even a lot of my packages that have been arriving have just in general, I'm like, they have been in disheveled. Like, did you put this in a shredder? Did I you kick it here? I could not believe, I got a package that was basically open. Like I thought that everything inside of it was going to be stolen. It was like, and it was like a lot of like tech gear that was in there. Yeah. I was so shocked, the, but still something that impresses me so much is mail. I sometimes I just stop and think, okay, let's all just take a moment. Hold on a second. Second uh, one, see. second one on the left, this you're one? clapping. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Nope. 
Let's just think about the mail, Jenna. It's incredible. The fact that you put a stamp on something and you give someone money and it gets somewhere. I know. And there's so much. And especially now, the holiday season. Holiday season. Lots of mail. Okay, I mean, can- I wrote my FedEx guy a thank you note because once I had a very bad FedEx experience, I was like, my guy would never do this to me. So I gave him a note and a hundred dollars. And I said, thank you. I appreciate you because it's a lot, but it's a lot of work too. It is. And I think also because sometimes like, I mean, I'll have to sign for packages and then like, it's such a struggle. They'll know like that they'll have to like knock extra loud because half the time I won't hear. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, you know, having a good experience most of the time, it kind of, it really does. I want to say, I almost said it trumps the bad experience, but I I don't ever want to use that word. Anyway, so the mugs are out. Yes. We're hyped, very excited. If there are any issues with your orders, Spreadshirt has been so amazing. Mm -hmm. I've used them in the past and their customer service is awesome. So be sure to contact them if if you guys have any issues at all. And that's- that's that. We're I'm excited. Just, we're still just trying to figure out like the merch thing. Cause it's like, we don't know. I can't even tell you how many samples of oh clothing gosh. that I have gotten over the past several years, That's because I have contacted so many different companies that do all types of different merch. And it's like, I don't want you guys to have just like one of these basic like cotton t-shirts that you put in the wash and then it just like awesome shrinks part. and is terrible and it feels terrible on your body. So that's really why I don't have merch. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, okay, like this is a mug. You can't really. I mean, you can, I mean, you can, but mess it up, but chances are slim. Yeah. Like here, look, it's a mug. I'm so excited about this. I love it. I love the white one. Like the basic white with the black. Oh, it looks so good. I'm going to have to order the white or the pink glasses for me. Yeah. I only ordered four to start with because I was like, oh, we'll just see how it goes. And then I'm going to order. I'm going to order with the sale. I'm not crazy. Yeah. This is great. Come on. We still have to pay for our own mugs from our own shop. (laughs) I think. Yeah. No, I, I paid. Whatever. Full price. Yeah. So this is exciting. I'm hyped. And now my friends, we're going to read our reviews. These are reviews from the Apple podcast and Jenna is on that. And while she's reading those, I'm going to work on our audio messages, which are taken from anchor.fm slash same brain. Here we go. This one says, I love I Justine and Jenna's podcast so much. I love them also. Oh, broccoli. Broccoli. Oh, broccoli. broccoli. Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. This is something that I've played nightly for like since I heard it came out. Uh, thanks. And I'm super, maybe uber grateful for making something to look forward to in the time of COVID. Also the election. I was thankful for a place to talk and learn about tech. Also a way to get more interested in tech. Love, love, love all and support from Orlando. Oh, Orlando. Hello, from Orlando. Hello, what's up? How's it going? You got the humidity. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I think putting a microphone on Tyler was a great idea because he is funny. This one just says Tyler. Tyler. Tyler's not here. He's right not now. here right now. We had to do this ourselves. We did. We had to set it up. He's he He's gonna see this and be like shuddering at the lighting because I basically so I have it, another reason that we haven't done the podcast in the last two weeks is I completely redid my entire set so that we can do the M1 review video because I wanted to make my office, I I wanted to turn it into an Apple store. So we had to completely reconfigure everything. So our setup that we had before is we were able to spin this light and then we'd have two sets. Well, now we don't have enough room for two sets. Mm -hmm. So instead what we did is we moved the podcast table way far at the end of the wall. And then I had another desk here. So we had to move this desk there's Over a lot here. of moving around. And we just were like, at the time, we're like, we don't want to reset everything up because the set was set. And it was just a lot. It was a lot happening. Yeah, but we're, I actually kind of, I'm into this because it, for my set, I would have like the lights on in the back. So now it's like a nice, it's moody. But I feel like Tyler would probably want to put a hair light on you over here. I don't have a hair and light. And then maybe put like another one right here. I mean, this one's kind of hitting you, but I, he would definitely, he's upset. I he, know. He's upset. Well, he got a shout out. He got to get a shout out. Do you have any anchor uh, voice messages yes, for us, man. Justine? Here we go. This is from Rachel. Okay. Hold on, Rachel. We're, we're coming for you. Hi, Jenna. I'm Justine. I love your podcast and I keep up with the work and that this is the only um, podcast that I can handle and yeah, love you guys. Vlogs and uh, oops. Oh, sorry, bye. Rachel. Uh, I was going to say, this is the only podcast that I can, this is the only podcast that I can handle as well. Definitely okay. the only thing We've we got handle. another one. This one says great podcast. I really like it. What if it says psych? Hi, Justine and Jenna. I'm from Israel, and I really like listening to your podcast. It's really interesting, and I really like it. Keep up the good work. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. thank you for supporting. We have moved the microphone back. So thank you guys. If you do want to leave a very quick voice message, chances are we will share them. So anchor.fm slash same brain. If you can do like 15 seconds, that's that's ideal. I would say 10 and under. 10 and under. Oh yeah, we like that. Quick. quick. Okay, cool. So how's it going, Jenna? I don't know. What's going on? How's been, it going? What have I've you been, been up sleepy. to? sleepy. What have I been up to? Yeah. Well, I decided to redo my streaming setup last night. Oh, didn't you drop something on your Tootsie? Oh yeah, uh, so this mount actually, if you're watching on the YouTube video, it's the uh, PS1 or PSA1 road mount. I was moving it. Moving and, and grooving. And the bottom fell off and just crushed my big toe. Mm. Like the metal, like pretty sure it's gonna be bruised, but that's fine. You know, I know about broken toes. It's not broken, it hit, it was more the nail bed. So oh. like, it's gonna be like probably black and blue cause it's blood. blood, blood. blood. Do you remember our spooky sounds for Halloween? I think they might still be on here, actually. No. Mm, I I don't, mm, it's okay. They might be, I think they're actually on the other one. But I got new overlays and they are Christmas themed. No and way. They're like the neon Christmas and they look really cool. So all I need to do is stream. I also spent many, many hours redoing my, my overlays. But why I was excited was because I got the new uh, Shure MV7, I believe it oh. is, microphone. So I was like, well, I wanna test this out because before that, a lot of the Shure microphones, you needed the XLR. But with this, they actually are just USB or XLR. So you can use it for podcast or for gaming. And it, I was like, mm. oh, I'm interested. But then I haven't streamed yet, but I tested it out and uh, so far so good. The other thing with those shore microphones, they sound incredible, but you also need like an amplifier. So you have to uh, get like this separate little piece as well to make it work. Not Why? Because it Is needs- Is it because of the desktop audio? No, it needs an extra piece. Like it needs power to amplify the actual microphone. So that was the the struggle with the- With the this preview. new one? No, my oh, with the old one. I was like, I, but I've been using this one. Yeah. I was like, no, I don't need it for this one. No, 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 no. That's yes. what I'm saying and why that's pretty pretty awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and I like that it's multi-purpose. So it's like gaming and you can do it for podcasting. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I um, I need to do, do a stream and test it out. I moved the other. So I, I caved and bought another one of the roadcasters because I love this thing so much. It's absolutely, it's just changed the game for everything. So I now use- this little guy right here, if you guys are watching, it's the Rodecaster Pro and, no, it's called the Procaster. Pro? Procaster. Is it? Yeah, right? The Procaster, the Rodecast, Road, no, it's called the Rodecaster. Yeah, the Rodecaster. The Procaster is, is the, the microphone. microphone. There's a lot of words. There is. So these are the Procaster microphones. And then I also got the smaller pod mic because whenever we did that interview with uh, Tom Green, we were like holding these microphones and they were heavy. super heavy. But then the thing with the pod mic is it actually already has this sort of attachment onto it. So that also wouldn't work for holding it. Mm. But for gaming, it's great because it's like half the size. So it doesn't kind of take up like the whole screen. Small. Small. Very small. Uh, speaking of streaming, are you ready for this? Well, you watched it. Oh. Uh, this was so exciting. So some of you guys know that Animal Crossing is like one of my favorite games ever. And on my island, when I first started streaming about six, seven, oh my God, no, seven, seven months. I just seven had my seven ago. month anniversary. I know. Uh, Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park also started streaming around the same time. And he started playing Animal Crossing. So I would always stream around like eight o'clock and he would hop onto his stream around 10, 1030. So then I would send all of my viewers over to go watch him. And then we just all started joking around on the island and we built like this little stage for him to perform like joking. Well. Seven months later, Mike Shinoda came to my island. We did a really fun live stream and he made a really cool I Justine theme song. The theme song was incredible. It's so good. Should we listen to it? Do you have it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, once, oh shoot. I don't, because it's this, okay. isn't, this it, isn't connected. It's okay. They can watch it. Are you going to be posting a YouTube video about it? Yes. I might actually be posting it tomorrow. If there I'm you go. done editing it. Or, so, so it's already or it's live. Already, might already be live. If it's live, there will be a link uh, in the description, it's, in the show notes. It's so cute. So well, you can watch that there. This is less to edit on the podcast. I need to get better at uh, keeping Justine on tame track. and on track so that it's less editing. That's what because I, you're like, oh, look at this on my computer. And then I'm like, oh my God, now you're gonna like, go find this on the computer. Like, no, 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 no. I have to keep myself on track as well. I was shooting this video yesterday and you would think that something that should be so super simple, I just start overthinking it. And I'm like, wait, it has to be perfect. I have to do this, I have to say it again. I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. Nah, nah, nah. The first take that you, the first 14 takes just seeing that you did were perfectly fine. Yeah, or move maybe, on. Maybe they weren't. Uh, I'll tell you what is quite, I don't wanna say perfect, but for what I've been doing recently on it, the M1 Max. 
Oh. We have them positioned right in front of us, actually. So let me talk about my experience because Please I use do. the 16 inch MacBook Pro for everything. Same. Absolutely. Well, not well, everything. No, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. For like my editing and stuff like that. Like other than that, I have a bunch of PCs that I use for streaming and other reasons. But for editing, MacBook Pro, 16 inch, fully maxed out, eight terabytes, 64 gigs of RAM. Expensive. Big. Is it 64 gigs of RAM? Yeah. That's a lot. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Expensive. Big. Well, I mean, just, it's like $8,000, which yeah. it used to be, I think more because when they, the one before that was more expensive and then they made the new one cheaper. And I was like, but it has two times the amount of store or like storage, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. So I had an incident where basically my entire, my entire MacBook got just fried. Like just, I was like, why is this not charging? None of my ports are working. And I had like 5% battery life. And I was like, how do I get everything off this computer? Because I have a terrible feeling that I've like, this has happened to me before and I'm going to lose everything. So I grabbed one of the solid state drives, copied like something that I needed oh. and then it died. Anyway, two weeks later, I get my, basically a new computer. They re replaced the, the logic like board. They, were, they, they replaced everything. everything. And I, I was using the M1 and I was editing everything on Final Cut. I was using Lightroom and Photoshop, even though it's like, do you want to download this for the Intel based app? And I'm like, yeah. And Rosetta, which allows you to. Yes, Rosetta. Yes. Um, but yeah, so going from the M1 back to my MacBook, I was like, why is my lap on fire? Why it's is crazy. this fan so loud? I was like, this is this does not happen on here. So earlier today, I was I had Final Cut, I was compressing a video, and I had Lightroom open, and it was silent. But what was shocking was you did like how like a five hour Zoom call. She was shooting this project. Yeah, five hour Zoom call. Also was recording on the Sony and had it connected to an external monitor. So originally I was, I was like, oh, I'll just use my bigger MacBook in case I need to like see it. And I plugged it in through Thunderbolt to the ultra wide monitor as well. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even have anything open yet. I don't even have Zoom open. All I did was plug it into the Thunderbolt and it's just so loud. I was like, that's gonna pick up in the microphone. So I was like, I just need to like test this and see if the M1 will be able to handle this. So I had plugged into the M1, I had my Thunderbolt going to the monitor. So not only was it powering this, the monitor was, you know, whatever. Um, I had the cam link plugged in to the wow. Sony a7S III. And through that I was, I had zoom running for five hours and yeah, the camera, which also the Sony was recording for four or five hours, never once shut off. You, and 4K? Yeah. Oh well, I mean, God. I stopped it yeah. in between, but 4K recording. Did you have a dongle connected as well? Yes, a dongle. Which is so, I mean, okay, again, these are the baseline max. Like this, this is, is 200, 256 gigs. Yeah, well, I mean, the storage doesn't matter as much, but the, let's see, what is your, how much RAM do you have in here? I think this is, it's uh, eight. okay, let's see. It's eight. Well, the Wait, storage- Wait, really? Yeah, it's like literally the baseline. Oh my God. Well, okay, I have 16. Yeah, I know. No way. Although I will say if, uh, I mean, I know the storage doesn't really matter, but like it does. Cause anytime I like try to move a picture, it's like your storage is full and I've been using everything external, so. Yeah. So let me it's see. Very, this is the actual baseline 13 inch MacBook Pro. That's actually really shocking because mine, I just thought, okay, well, mine's a little bit of the, the upgrade. So I do have the one terabyte of storage and the um, 16 gigs of RAM. And, but again, still, this is where Apple is starting from. And I mm -hmm. had a very similar experience. Obviously I did my reviews and I tested out editing 8K footage and everything was working, but I was never really using it in a situation that I normally would. So. Pace yourself. I'm paced. Okay, great. I was editing in my office and I was like, I can't be in here anymore. So I went and like made a nice little cozy couch situation. I put the fire on. I was like, I'm going to edit a 4K, two camera shoot in all multicam and the timeline was set to better performance. Oh. I edited this entire video. It was maybe like a 10 minute, nine to 10 minute video. Not a single problem. I mean, that's with how this, I was editing for two weeks because I, I don't have a MacBook. But this was sitting on my lap. I also had a blanket. Normally, if you even like this, a MacBook sees a blanket, if it knows there's a blanket mm -hmm. in sight. Now, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that often, but the fact that I was like, and the fire was on. Like oh, it was I know. Warm. No, that would never happen. No. Like when I think about opening Final Cut on my Intel Mac, it's automatically like, <laughs> it's loud. I'm like, oh, I didn't even do it yet. And yeah, and even the battery, like if I, when we were on a plane, I'm like, 
we don't have an outlet. Like I'm only going to be able to get at least an hour, maybe, maybe an hour of editing before it just drains my battery. I would probably be able to get at least two. So I'm saying this because probably because my MacBook had issues. Uh, yeah, yours definitely did. So it but didn't last very long. The, that entire scenario for me editing, fans never turned on once. I also exported it uh, and it was just really shocking. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never heard the fan yet. Um, Actually, I haven't either. I've never heard it. I mean, the MacBook Air is supposed to be silent, but I've actually, I have never heard this fan and I've had Photoshop, Lightroom, Compressor, Final Cut. I've had everything open that I use. So having these programs that are specifically tailored towards the M1, this is where you're gonna see the performance. Now, obviously things like uh, Photoshop and other apps, they're using Rosetta to kind of translate that code into something that the M1 Macs are able to sort of process. So when these programs are actually really developed and mm-hmm. made to take advantage of what this processor is able to handle, that's where you're going to see the, the differences. I know. I mean, even like the Final Cut. So ever since uh, the Sony A7S III, I mean, we had it early in what, like July? <gasps> yes. When we, I mean, we had like 400, 300 gigs of footage and the new feature was obviously the 124K. When I put that into a Final Cut timeline on my Intel-based Mac, I was like, we are going to have a problem because there's no way I'm going to shoot this. If this is how long it's going to take, it would just sit and render and I'd get the beach ball and I'm like, I can't edit, I cannot edit this. Like this is impossible, but um, not really the case editing it on M1. Um, a little I lag didn't really here like and there. want to bring this up, but I, I my Mac Pro is like $100,000 and I, maybe not that much, but I'm just saying what this is doing in Final Cut, it is, it is rivaling this incredibly expensive computer. So the fact that this is where we're starting the future, this next year is going to be just absolutely just shocking. I mean, I, think. I was even thinking too, I'm like, if they make a 15 inch or say, I mean, I think a 15 inch MacBook Pro would be perfect. Uh, Going back to my 16 inch, I'm like, yeah. you heavy. So the only why one complaint though with this is I wish the screen was brighter. Yes. I was having some issues seeing it. It's also, I mean, it is smaller. So if you are doing like a lot of like, you know, a lot of design stuff like that. Like you're going to want a bigger screen for sure. 100%. But I do want to say that if you are somebody who edits in premiere and you're expecting this same type of <laughs> incredible performance, I don't think that it's, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never, I even, tried. I've never even thought about premiere. I haven't, but I'm saying I've seen other no, people sure. who have tested it. This is definitely something that is really specific to taking advantage of you know, obviously things that are in the Apple ecosystem. Now that's not to say down the line premiere will be, I guess, able to handle, or these Macs will be able to handle a little bit better. But even now, Premiere isn't something that is, I guess, as optimized as well on Mac. I have a feeling, I mean, I don't know, but I have a feeling that Adobe is probably working on something. I just feel like, because, you know, like, what are they gonna be like, no, sorry? No, no, it's not that it doesn't work. No, but I mean, focusing, working with the M1. Like, oh, for sure. Like having it optimized for that. A hundred percent. Because that would just be silly. No, they definitely are. I mean, that's, that's, Definitely in the pipeline, if not already, depending upon when. I mean, yeah. who knows? We might have a surprise launch in the next couple of days. That'd be cool. What month is it? Don't it's December. Know. Oh my God, it's December. Oh my gosh. I don't like that. It was 80 degrees today. I went for a walk. I'm like, why is it so hot? Where am I? Everything hot. is so confusing. Yes, but going back to the final cut, because I know you've been you know, praising it, I did have a few issues. Oh. So, um. I was doing some of the two timeline things and like usually it's fine. Multicam? It. Uh, I did do some multicam and then sometimes I was just too lazy. So I just tossed it on top of it. I was like, this will be fine. There were a few times where it was like going eh, 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 and it took it a little bit to catch up, but it was still better than, it was weird because it was a different experience than it just stopping completely and rendering. It was like, huh. it was like doing like, a, eh, 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 and then it would catch up. That's weird. I have not, I've not had that problem. Hmm. Well, I mean, it it wasn't, wasn't bad. It was like a couple seconds and then it was fine. So that's your only problem. Um, Like, how are you coping? Like, are you able to, do you need to? There was a support group on Facebook. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, are you going to be okay? Like, do you want to, do you want to talk about, at least should I? Well, I mean, it was a little, wait a minute. I have another problem. Okay. This is a serious problem because me as a right-handed individual and someone who lives where a lot of the outlets are on this side, not having ports on this side is infuriating. I'm like, dude, 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 there's only two ports. 
I, I, okay, the one problem that I- don't want I, this headphone jack. It's Bluetooth, baby. Get it out of here. This is what I kept running into. So you guys can't see it, but every time I swipe from the side over here, the widgets pop up. And so I do a lot of like sliding in Same. my- Same, so and it, it keeps kept, popping up. So I'm sure there's a way to deactivate that, but I definitely need to turn that off when I'm so editing. So I also don't like in Big Sur, the new like notifications. I'm like, just delete all of them. Something- Clear all. I've been having a weird Big Sur issue where it starts it ejecting my drives. Have you seen, have you noticed that? It's probably because you only have two ports. It's well, just no, like, not on here or my other oh. one. I have uh, I have so many things hooked up to my Mac Pro. And obviously, you know, I'm, I'm trying to compare this to the Mac Pro, but what I put that thing through on True. a daily basis True. is just, it's it's a lot. Look, so, I'm gonna say something controversial. I don't like the widgets over there. Well, you don't have to take, put them, get them away. I just, Honestly, like, I don't ever hear. I like the really, notifications. I'm like, you just need a button to clear all. You don't have to tell me the 6 million times that like something you happens. You can change it. I'm going to have to. I just was like, get out of here. I turned off almost all of my notifications after I got a notification from the Apple News about- Oh, Oprah. About there was yeah. a sale on the Spanx that Oprah loves. I go, you made me open my phone. I That's what I opened my phone for. I have a question. I was furious. Because now when I turn on do not disturb, I still get my text notifications. It's like ding, ding, really? ding. I was like, stop it. Um, well, yeah. let me see. So I don't know, I, man. I wasn't a fan of, of that. Well, maybe you should look into it. So I have my notifications off on my messages actually. Oh, I've got all kinds of messages because I had my notifications off. Is that why? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just typing. I was too. I saw uh, some of our friends were, you know, talking about eating and oh, we like to eat. Gobble, gobble. But Thanksgiving was last week, Justine. It was, and I was just gonna say, Los Angeles has officially closed down again. Did you I see? I have no idea. I don't know either because nothing has changed because I've literally not really left my house. I don't do anything. I don't go anywhere. I've probably gone to like three outdoor restaurants. Our excitement was this weekend, we went and got COVID tests. We got like six of them for fun. Well, I mean, I don't know if it was like fun. Well. No, it wasn't very fun actually. But what happened is, so you can get free ones that are covered by insurance and the government if you- uh, Don't have like, insurance. Yeah, so you can get that covered. So we went and we we booked one of those and- uh, Carp <laughs> I call it COVID carpool. So yeah, we've obviously worked together all the time. So it's like, if you have it, like I probably have it or I if know. I have it, you, so we, whatever, COVID carpool. And when I was going to pick up Jenna for the COVID carpool, I drove past another COVID testing center <laughs> and I hadn't seen this before. And they said that they do the antibodies and then the, what is it, the antigen? The antigen and then the antibodies, yeah. So, so I pick her up, I go, guess what? After this, after we go to our free one, I was like, let's go to this other one and get the antibody test. And it does the, the rapid testing. So it does rapid testing and then you get the antigen so like one the, also. The PCR. So it's like the one where we did was I think the PCR test. So the, what are the differences, Jenna? Oh my God. Oh, I, don't, wait, I don't even want to, I don't want to talk about the difference because I don't actually know specifics, oh, but wait. some of them take a little bit longer, which is supposed to be like the more reliable ones where the rapid tests are only 88% um, reliable, reliable, I guess. Yeah. Accurate. Yeah. Accurate. But That's Jenna, actually, you have, so you, the degree that you have, you could technically be a COVID tester, tester. Well, so I was trying to find the details because if you think about it, like a lot of these are probably people in a lab somewhere. And I have a forensic biology as well as a biology degree. So I could probably work in a lab doing some COVID tests. I was Whoa. like, should I get a job? You, how are you gonna have time to do that when you've got a full-time YouTube career, Jenna? <laughs> I don't know for, uh, um, I don't know. Research? Yeah, but research? No, that, I mean, that is kind of crazy. And like the the one that we did, the second one was, um, I mean, they're all drive through, but the second one, because there was a blood test. So then the, the nurse came to the window, she's fully shielded. I mean, this was like something out of a movie when you see, I don't know, like, like when they land on a, a foreign planet. When there's like, you need like a hazmat to come in. Okay, that, yeah. I was gonna say like, when you land on a foreign planet and then there's this like, you know, like, like that. you're like a space suits, you got shields. Yeah, she was shielded she up. She was shielded up. I so mean, she, I would be too, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's dangerous work when you really think about it. Yeah, you're, you're literally testing people who were like, oh, you might have COVID or I don't know. Like there's just people all day, all day. But yeah, it's interesting because so the rapid antibody test, um, it was, they just do it like a little, prick on your finger and they take a little blood. I was so and they, scared. They put, they put your little blood droplet on this, um, you know, little, it's, I mean, it's kind of like how we still like test our glucose, you know, yeah. you prick your finger and you put it on a thing and you wait, I think it was like 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, if it's one line negative for COVID, two lines positive. She's like, it's like a pregnancy test. And we both just go, 
O. Uh, okay. And then I was like, what does that, which, which what? line means what lady? I don't know. And that was actually something that we were discussing. We're like, this could be available to people. If people are able to test their blood sugar, like, I mean, they have to do this on a ba- daily basis to, to survive. And that's the thing too, where I'm like, dude, like we can literally like, okay, I can prick my own finger. I can take a little drop of blood, put it on this thing and test it myself instead of paying a hundred dollars. I mean, obviously supplies, yeah. Well, I, I, can put, like, I can put in the buffer solution. Well, yeah, but I think the supplies for these places is like $30 per test, which is still a lot. And then the markup. So Girl. for that entire combo thing, I think it was like $280 that we paid. <gasps> well, so you got- um, I got the combo package. You did get the combo. So I only did the rapid uh, antigen and the rapid antibody. So that was like 145 for the rapid antigen and then 99 for the rapid antibody. So you, they also did for you, they did one where they, I think, sent it in for the PCR yeah. test, which takes a couple of days. It, I got it by midnight. That's what they said. They said that was guaranteed by midnight. Oh, and that's the thing is really? when you are doing this stuff, like you're, you're paying for that speed, but it's just really crazy that this is sort of going to be that new normal. It's like, do you want to get on a flight? Well, you got to go do COVID tests. And I just saw that they well, also launched- the vaccine. Which, yeah, but I also, I don't think that's gonna change things. I mean, even if you get the vaccine- it, Dude, yeah, we, it we, it's all still too new. We don't know. You don't know. So I still think that they're going to require that even if you do have the vaccine. Uh, but I saw that they opened up like three testing centers like right around LAX. So you can do a rapid test before you get on the flight. Crazy. Oh my God. I mean, it makes sense. No, of course. And it can happen so quickly. Like at some point, I mean, this is crazy to think about that like when you go through TSA, like there's gonna be like a line that is like, okay, you True. get tested first before I mean, you even walk into if, the airport. If it's only 10 to 50, it's just expensive. So it's like, who's paying for this? Is this like a price of your ticket? Like, okay, add on a COVID test. It's $50, $100. It's just so weird. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is, especially if it's only 88% reliable. Yeah. That it, test. At that point, if you're gathering then at the airport with a lot of people, and you get tested one second and then one second later, you run into somebody that has it. Oh gosh, we don't know, there's but a, anyway. There's a lot of variables, but I kind of like talking about like what that kind of scenario would be because it is sort of our future. And it's really unfortunate though, that the medical industry is such a money-making thing. I mean- I mean, in America, yeah. It, it oh. really, really is. I mean, even just like, I don't know, even just, I don't know, like doing research like on cancer treatments and things like that. It's just like, this is something that is going to save your life, but it's like, at what point is it, you know, I know we're trying to get a little more money out well, of it's you even like people, when like, your life is on the with line. With diabetes, like insulin is so expensive. And then I was, I was, I don't think it was Canada. Someone, I was watching TikTok and, um, and they're like, yeah, like our, you know, we have like this program where it's basically like paid for or affordable. And then I was also watching TikTok and this lady's like, well, yeah. Or it was like, how much money or how long did it take you after you had a baby to pay off your hospital bills? And this lady was like, well, in Canada, they actually pay you to have babies. Oh. I'm like, what? I'm still not interested. No, I'm not interested either, but I'm like, this is crazy. Look, people pay like hundreds and thousands of dollars. It's so much money. Even just going to, to the emergency room. I know, like people literally die because they're like, I'm not gonna be able to afford going to the emergency room. That's just, it's very, very sad and it's not fair. It, I know. I mean, I, I think I pay almost $500 a month for health insurance and it's not even close to being the best plan. No, I think mine's almost 600. And oh, you don't even have a doctor. I don't. So whenever I went to try to get my first COVID test, they're like, you need a referral from your doctor. I'm like, well, how, I don't have one. So they're like, okay, well to get one, then you have to like look through this massive booklet of, potential doctors and then you can only go to like certain ones. Like, oh, I know. The healthcare in industry your... is really, it's not good. I mean, I tried to schedule with a primary care physician cause I haven't been to the doctors in forever and my lady moved or whatever. They, so they assigned me to another doctor and then he like moved. So then I have another doctor. I'm like, I never met this guy. Like, why is this my assigned person? Like, how do I just pick another one? And they're like, you, 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 you can't. I'm like, but what? Like. The, I need a referral to get a doctor? Like this is insanity. And then like the waiting time to even try to get a doctor is wild, especially if you want like a woman or something like that. I'm like, it's just, it's, they're like, sorry, good luck, have fun. I guess I'll just die. And that's crazy. Like we have insurance too. So there's so many people that don't have this because they can't afford it. And because like, just everything is so crazy. We're even talking today, like what if, um, you know, like the difficulty for renting apartments and stuff now, because you have to put so, so much, much money, money up front. No. Well, it's like, well, how am I going to put money up front when you 
literally I've not been able to work for so long. So how do I live? Like it I is, don't know. I don't know. It's really sad. And it's like the, the government's not giving enough money to even survive. They're like, oh, here's a couple dollars for you to maybe buy one I meal. Mean, what the $1,200 check that they sent out once? Well, well, like there's other countries who were like, we're going to pay you. I forget what countries it was. It was like, we're, they're giving them like 60%, 70%, 80% of their salary to like stay home. Yeah. In America, they're like, sorry, good luck. Like, it's just so crazy. I know. And then just like, I don't, I, like, I don't want to say that like shutting things down is good because it's also, I don't know if that's the answer. Somebody tried to get real sassy with me on Twitter. They're like, you advocate for the closures of business. I, I go, that. I was like, find me where I said that. Find me one instance where I said Hold that's a good idea. What I said is wear masks, freaking social distance. And the, what makes me very upset about it being a political thing is that this could have been very easily avoided. Here's where I think Trump made a mistake. If at the beginning, I, I saw something, it was like, you know, if Trump would have made his masks as merch, he as a businessman could have potentially made over $200 million and potentially saved lives. Yeah. And who knows if that's true, but I thought about that. I'm like, wow, right? Huh. I mean, here, hey, it's, this is America and you can do whatever you want, but. Yeah, I think just it's once. just, there's it, no solution. Once it became that yeah. political thing, that's where it was like, man, like this sucks. Like just care about somebody else. And it's like, I don't want to wear a mask. It's not fun. I went for like a freaking five mile run the yeah. other day and with the mask on, I was like, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I mean, this sucks, but like you're running close to people. And it's like, if I want to enjoy being at least outside, it's like, that's what you have to do. And again, you know, you're protecting other people. Yeah. And so you hope that they wear the mask to protect you. So and, it's- and too, like if, if a year from now, they're like, oh, the masks didn't do anything. Here's the research, here's the evidence. I'd be like, well, all right. I wasted a year wearing a mask. Like, okay, I, I didn't, you know, that's fine. Sucks, but it happened. But I don't, <sighs> you know what though? What? I will never get on a plane ever again without a mask. Nope, definitely. Because mm-hmm. I thought about it. I thought about like how close you are to strangers breathing. I'm, I'm on board the mask game. Even if there's not a pandemic. I really like social distancing. I love it. I like space. I've always kind of liked my space, but I do, I mean, it's really like, even like meeting like viewers and stuff, like I always love giving people hugs because mm-hmm. I feel like that's like such a meaningful thing. It's yeah. like now it's like, I'm afraid to do that I know. because not only maybe I'm afraid of you, but you should also be afraid of me because I've just met tons and tons of people. Very so true. It's Slime. like, it kind of goes both ways. And I think that the the lasting effects of this whole time, like it, it's gonna, it's, no one's ever gonna be able to go back to how things were because even mentally, I feel so freaking just like messed up, like watching TV shows. And, and seeing people out doing, I'm like, oh, you know, mask oh my God, I started watching The Undoing because you yeah. told me to watch. And then just like them going in and like giving a hug and then like, like a kiss on the cheek. I go, oh, I'm oh, shuddering, oh I'm shuddering. I know, I know. It's, it's, that's, I was even thinking too, I'm like in the future, are they gonna be making shows where people in like the audience and big gatherings have masks on? I loved this somebody. Oh my God. I think it was Kathy uh, from Pittsburgh, our friend. She posted something on Instagram and she was talking about how Law & Order SVU was trying to sort of like be, I guess, I don't know, like have their characters wearing masks, but it was so inconsistent in the show that like, did you see that? I didn't, no. Well, it was really funny. Well, it's not funny, but they would like, have the mask on outside and then they go into a house and then they see a dead body and then they take the mask down to like assess. You're like, but, and then there was another one where like what the girl had the face shield, it was like up, it was like on her head, but like it wasn't on. So it's like, I don't know if that's hurting or like uh, helping because you're showing bad, uh, like not proper usage (laughs) of these things that you're trying to say, look, we're using it, but you're not using it. That's fine, I didn't see that. No. Is, yeah, I mean, I don't know yeah. what's gonna happen, but I was even thinking about like CES should be in one month almost. Oh my God. And we went to CES 2020. We went, we, we were did. there. And I think this, this was, was the busiest year I've ever had. And I was running around like a s- sprinter. <laughs> I also think because this was also my busiest CES that I didn't go to many parties. I was basically just working nonstop and we were going from place to place to place that I wasn't like lingering in one place and I wasn't meeting as many people as I had in the previous years. Every other CES, I've been like almost deathly ill for like Ooh, weeks after. Yeah, the last CES before that, I was so sick. Remember Same. I was supposed to have this like cool project with like Disney and I had to cancel. And I was like, this is, this is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I 
couldn't we get were supposed plane. to go to Disney. We were because they like did this custom thing that was for me, like only me, and they couldn't do it any other time. And I was like, this is gonna be so cool. And I was like, I feel so bad, but like I have a hundred and three fever. I have a weird strain of strep throat. Where they're like, that's weird. Yeah. And then I got the flu. So because I went to the doctor and I got the flu. And here's where it's also strange is like obviously now it's we're coming into like flu season and stuff like that. Whereas before, if you were sick. Like I remember going to conventions and not feeling well and just like having a cold, like a super spreader. No, but I mean, that was something that you did. Like I've, I've worked with people on sets before where yeah. they basically have the flu, but you have to go and go to work. Like now, if you even remotely like have a, 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 simple, a single like, ailment like a I know. pain it's like oh. you stay home oh did you cough you're gone you but i will up. say that i think that there's hopefully a new understanding and appreciation for working from home where it's like i mean think about like parents with kids and just stuff like that like when you have real life situations and you're able to like handle that but also work from home like it shouldn't be a big deal like if you can prove working from home i think that i mean i hope that like companies are probably like you know adapting yeah. because who knows it's just Everyone is probably, most people have been working from home and hopefully making it work. And it's just, we save so much time. I remember seeing too, the stats of just how clean the air was from yeah. like no emissions happening. Like there were no flights, there was no cars on the road. And I'm like, and then we're back to killing our planet. With, you know, travel. I don't but know how I would have gotten as much done over the past couple of months. Like there's no way that I would have been able to travel and do all of the things, like all of the videos yeah. that I managed to get done. And the amount of time that I feel like we had wasted previously on unnecessary travel. Like, yeah, there's so many events that I've missed, but a lot of times if I'm just gonna travel across the country to do like a single video to just to like pick up something and then I- I mean, I you that. lose three days. Th yeah. At least. And just the exhaustion levels. Like I'm tired now, but I think it's just from being at home too much. Yeah, but too comfy. Yeah, I don't know. True, I, I mean, I even think in February, I was going back and forth to San Francisco. We went to, Wait, we went to uh, the Samsung thing. Yeah, and before that, I went up a couple of times. Like I was back and forth, back and forth, like going, which is fine. Like that's a quick trip, but I'm also like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, that's like, I think about that now. I'm like, no, I even think about getting on a plane and I'm like, no, we will drive. I went to, um, this was, oh, so I went to a yoga, outdoor yoga class and it was one of my friends that was doing it. There was like four other people. So we were so far away. Talk about six feet. This was like 60 feet in between each mat and then our instructor up at the front. There's just something about like doing a yoga class like with other people that really, like I actually did miss it. But what I don't miss is I used to go- Core power, every hot single, yoga. I used to do hot yoga every single morning, like 5.30 a.m., 5.30, 6.30. Like that's, I, I think about doing that now. It, it is disgusting. I know because when we were in Hawaii this year, we went to- a yoga class and I remember, okay, so yes, it's hot. Yes, it's sweaty. Yes, there's like 50 people in a room. I look at Justine and go, we are sitting in a Petri dish. Yep. And I was like having a panic attack because this was like kind of when the start of, you know, not the start of COVID, but the start of like the news and everything. And we're like, oh my God, why are we here? I'm like, we're not gonna make it out yeah. of this Petri dish. And I will never do that again. No, and it's like those classes, like they would pack so many people into it. And I, I loved core power classes because when I, when I used to travel, they, these studios would be in every city. So I would always be able to like have a studio to go to and have sort of that community of people that we, it's like the same class. So you just yeah. don't ever miss out on it. So I've been doing some of the, the online stuff. I like, I miss that sort of like community aspect, but I also can never imagine going back to being that close to somebody ever again. I miss it because it forces me to do it, but I never liked being that close to people. I'm like, you're, you're just dripping sweat and you're this close to a person trying to do yoga. I'm like, no, this is nothing about this is enjoyable. I also don't like yoga. Cause I'm like, this doesn't relax me. This stresses me out. So I think it depends on the class too. True. I like the ones with like the, the, the weights. Yeah. So they have like the core power, like the uh, sculpt class. Sculpt. I like sculpt. Fun. That's nice. I used to love, there was a, an Equinox class. There was an instructor there that I used to go to all the time. And, but I like the Equinox classes because they're, I mean, obviously the Equinox gym membership is just absurdly expensive, but they were always very obsessive about cleaning. So like yes. they would clean those mats after every single use, they would clean the floors, they would open the windows. So I always felt like very safe going there. I mean, I haven't been back in Never. a very long Are time. Are they even open? I don't know. Probably not now. I don't think so. I have no idea really. They're probably like, let's do it on the sidewalk. But I've kind of established, I guess my new workout. Like I've now become a runner during quarantine. And then I sprained my ankle during my first week of outside running when I were home. I sprained this way worse than I thought. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be just like, okay, we'll be back in like two weeks. 
We're at what, like two and a half months at this point, And the swelling has finally just subsided. And I feel like I can, I can walk. I, I was able to run, but the swelling was still there. So it's finally going down. I'm trying to figure out where to put a treadmill because I don't have much space for it. <sighs> Those but Nordic I need track one. ones are so They're nice. cool because they have the ones that you can lift up. But the one I was looking at didn't lift up. But I'm like, I mean, I don't need a couch. I don't need two couches. But I Maddie we, likes that other couch. Here's what I think we do. I think that we need to go to living spaces. Living spaces. We can go to living spaces virtual. Is that? No, I think you can actually go. Uh, well, who knows? Living spaces. spaces. Is I, that their commercial? I think it is. Living spaces. No, I don't think it is. Maybe it's, is that something else? I have no idea. I don't know. But is that Reading actually, Rainbow? No, I think that, is it? Living we, spaces. I, I'm why not would sure. I see a commercial for that? I don't know. Is this like- Do they have a commercial? They might. Maybe every time I see their emails, like in my head, I go, living spaces. Let's see. Living, I'm gonna look this up. So what you're saying is I need to go to a store, buy a new couch and buy a treadmill. Yes. So, oh my God, wait, Living Spaces commercial 2020. So why I love Living Spaces, this is not an ad. I've honest, the, oh God, this desk is from Living Spaces. They do sort of like same day furniture. Well, they used to do same day. Like I would order something at 9 a.m. and I would have it by 4 p.m. Yeah, but Postmates just sent me a thing that says- Find tapping. the face. It's right don't, there. don't. It's right there. Save $5 with tree. Whoa, I can use, oh, mine was mine was tree. Oh my gosh, I can Wait, use 30% code off? lights for 30% off. That's crap because mine was only five freaking dollars. 30% off? Yeah, so you can't order through there because uh, this, the the uh, burger special is only online. You hate me. Trust me, I looked earlier and I, I was like, Jenna, we can't. I've been wanting to order from this restaurant for months. months. But every day that I would be able to order the food or we're together, it wasn't on a Wednesday. And today I was like, we have to record the podcast because I'm gonna order a burger. Burger night burger Wednesday. Special. This is Wednesday that we're, do they have something for me? Do we? Yeah, they've got pizza, they got pastas. Tuesday they, they have a, a spaghetti, a spaghetti pasta. A spaghetti is a pasta. Oh my God, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold oh, on a second. Speaking moved. of pasta. Johnny Cupcakes. He Can has. Making pasta now? He freaking has pasta. Look at this. So he doesn't have cupcakes, but he has pasta. Yes. He, this is sent, so tricky. I know. He sent me a message last night and was like, hey, I, I make pasta now. I go, you think I don't know? I saw this. We got, how do, how do we so, make pasta? Oh, could I you imagine know. same brain pasta, brain pasta, brain noodles? Brain noodles, pasta. Like, oh, how the heck did he do this? This is great. We can do that. Can we does Spreadshirt have pasta? Cause we basically can't do anything else. <laughs> I don't, oh, I'm not shoot. sure, but I'm very interested. I'm Wait really a minute. very hungry. Look, Johnny Cupcakes has taken on a variety of projects for clients of, maybe, maybe we just say Johnny, help. Johnny, Let's help. help, help us. Uh, anyway, I'm excited for the pasta. Oh my gosh, I am always excited for pasta. Me too, incredibly hyped. My yeah. um ear hurts. Why, are you okay? No. Yeah, I just think the microphone. Look the, at our mugs. Microphone. They're so cute. I'm very, the, I think this might be my favorite. Just like the white and the black, like the super basic. Yeah, I agree. You were like, I want the black mug. And I go, it's going to look better on white. So, but this may be what the pink would look good. You said you didn't like, oh, the pink. The pink I like pink blue. glasses. So with No, the, pink glasses. With the black mug, you can have the option to do a black mug, a blue mug, or a red mug. Oh. And I was like, this is cool. And you're like, no. I'm like, Oh. I just wanted, you know, like one option. There's a lot of options. Just because if I have, if I'm overwhelmed, I'm gonna be overwhelmed. Okay, hide the face. Did it focus on it? I can't, I don't know. I don't Why know. My face? I don't know. So whenever you, the new A7S three is so good at focusing that if it even sees like a glimmer of a part of a face, it's like starts. Wait, what if, it, what if it's been focusing on the brain the whole time? Well, we can't tell because because we can't tell. What I do like also about this is yes, I recorded for five hours and it didn't stop, but in previous times when I've been making a video and I'm like shooting it by myself, it would focus on this computer and then I'm out of focus. So there's oh. so many videos where I'm like, I'm not even in focus. And yeah. So if you turn on the auto eye focus, um, it'll focus, focus on your eyes on and not your And of eye. course, if you change the F stop too, that helps. Yeah, and you can also change the settings too, depending upon like how, um, like the, if you want continuous auto focus or if you want like wide or if you want it specific or you can do spot focus, you can just tap and it'll oh. focus on something, there's, spot focus. So let me mm. tell you what, I the new work from home, and like trying to do like Zoom calls. I don't know. It's just, I feel very bad for people who are not very tech savvy and who have had to adapt to the times because that's a lot. Like this is our job. And there's some times where I'm trying to like troubleshoot. And I'm like, I don't know how to fix this. Like this is too much. Yeah. So man. It's a lot. I mean, it's a lot. And we've already had the gear to yeah. begin with yeah. as well. So 
I've also run into instances where I've done projects where like they mail you a package that has like all of the stuff in it that you need to like do the setup. I'm like, well, I already, I already have like my setup. We're good. But they send these packages to people or to do interviews. Oh my gosh. We did, um, this is at the beginning of the, yes, we did this huge thing at the beginning of all of this. It was a, a tennis tournament and I watched it. So they sent these packages to all of these like you know celebrities and they sent one to me as well and since we were doing the host part they had like these cameras that actually connected to uh, multiple cell sources as soon as I turned that on it instantly connected to the studio and they started like moving the camera around I go oh my god I wasn't ready you're like wait wait this is invasive so well, yeah, I mean, I knew I, I was I was prepared, but I also was like, oh my gosh, like this is so That's, crazy because it's like, this is connected automatically to the studio. I mean, I had to set this thing up. I actually opened it and I cried on the floor because it was so overwhelming. Again, this is my job. I do yeah. this every day. And I was like, oh, this is so much it's stuff much. to set up. But the fact that I just booted this thing up, set this thing up after my tears had dried, uh, and like an entire studio was able to connect to this and remotely control everything. Like it was really yeah. impressive. I mean, so I was doing a shoot the other day and like the same thing, like this lady was traveling and they mailed her like a Sony camera oh. and like all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I couldn't imagine not knowing anything and having to set this up because like even doing like the cam link and yeah. like, you know, the programs and, you know, changing your settings and zoom to make sure that everything works. I'm like, this is a lot, but I will say, I think the best thing that has ever happened to me is getting into streaming again. Well, not again, but getting into streaming mm -hmm. because it really taught me like how to set things up for yeah. streaming and for like video calls and tech support and just like figuring things out. And uh, yeah, that and the Sony A7S III. So great. I need to get, screen. I mean, like the ring lights are great. I mean, a, a ring light is not like the best light ever, but as a simple solution, yes. I mean, it gets the job done. For like sure. that Elgato ring light though, it's so great because you can adjust like the color temperature mm -hmm. and- I mean, the Elgato lights are great. They're everything about, like everything that they do is just great. And I saw some people on Twitter, there was like some fighting about like, it's expensive. I'm like, oh, here's the thing. You don't have to get this, but if you sure. do, you're paying a premium for quality products. Uh, and the green screen has completely changed everything because it's like a pull up and a pull down. And so inside my office, I had to do some consolidating in my house now that I had to move like my gym and I had to move a bunch of things around just to actually make room since even though I work from home all the time, now I'm home a lot more. Yeah. So I do need that extra space. So consolidating my streaming and editing workspace all in one was, was quite a struggle. No, for sure. And like, even just like the, like the cam link and the capture card, like it's just, I mean, you can actually use the capture card for a camera as well, but man, yeah. the cam link, when you set that up, when and you're on like a Zoom call or something, people are like, oh my gosh, you look so good. What are you using? I'm like, oh, well, I mean, this is a seven, like seven thousand dollars setup, right? But <laughs> thank you. I'll tell you what is another solve that I have been doing. I was doing some live editing streams. Yes. Well, I've only done one, so okay. I did a single stream. Uh, but I used it's Epoch Cam. Oh yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that how you say it? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's E P O C C A M. So basically you're able to use your iPhone as a webcam. Now, okay, yeah, if you plug your phone into your cam into your laptop, you're able to like access it, but this kind of turns it into sort of just one seamless thing. You can do it wirelessly or you can do it wired and plugged in. And I use that as my second camera while I was editing. So I had it on the keyboard. That is really cool. But another thing, so Sony um, released their software where you can just plug in from the camera to your computer, no external like capture card or cam link needed. So originally it was just PC, but they did make it available for Mac as well. So if you do oh. happen to have a camera, all you do is download the, um, it's like the Imaging Edge software. You can just look it up and it, like, you just use that as a source. And that's very simple. So you're saying I didn't need to, I don't need a capture card for my... So no, cause you would just, download the software, plug it in, and through Streamlabs, I think it uh, connects to- As a webcam. So, so, yeah, as a webcam. You're right. Through the imaging edge mm. and- I do think though that the HDMI for streaming might be more reliable. No, 100%. So, but yeah. I, I tested it out when I did the yeah. Sony A7C video. I was like, well, let me test this out. There was like a little bit of audio lag, but I think it was because I had my frame rate from Streamlabs and the camera different. Mm. So I think that was the lag. Yeah, it, yeah, it, interesting. it looked really good. And huh. the focus was really fast. Yeah, no, this is all, it's all very great information, Jenna. Thank you. Like I said, I learned a lot in 2020. We are at one hour. 
So by the time we edit this, it'll probably be less than like that. fifty. No, we only messed up the first four minutes. Three, really? two, three minutes. Oh, I'm, well, I'm getting hungry. Me too. This it's was burger fun. night. It is burger night. We're getting burgers. Jenna doesn't eat meat, and I also have to shoot another video after this. Me too. I'm but making you being a video. This was really fun. I enjoyed our time together, Jenna. Yes. yes. I'm very excited about the setup though, because now what I think I can do is I can get another table that's a little bit bigger and I can just leave this table here. We don't have to carry the table back and forth. That would be nice. Cause look at this, watch this, watch this. Hold on, you guys are watching. She's moving the microphone off the screen. Now I have an editing desk or my uh, filming. So since I use one desk for streaming and YouTube, yeah. this is what I do. I move the microphone, I take my monitor, I move my monitor, I zoom in the camera, and you don't see that I have all this crap next to me because I yeah. just go like this, I swing it away. So, so yeah, that's what, so that's what I've been doing. And these arms are kind of cool because you can actually just lift it off. So I could even set this whole thing on the ground. I think I'm gonna have to go on to living space. You can lift it off, but when you unscrew the bottom, it falls off onto your toe. Well, I don't have to unscrew it. You just lift it up. I needed to unscrew mine. Oh, so I don't have to. Well, now when I move mine, I don't have to, but yes, okay. Anyway, guys, so yes, we do have Same Brain mugs. Now there will be a link in the description if you are watching on YouTube. If not, I think it's Spreadshirt, um, Same Brain. I'm, we'll have to find it. I'm but shopping. She's shopping. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching or listening. Make sure you leave your audio message, anger.fm slash Same Brain, as well as- Dot .fm? Dot FM. What did you say? Dot F Anchor? Anchor dot FM. Did you say anchor? I, I think said, you just said dot I FM. I think I said anchor dot FM. I don't think you did. Hard to tell. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we can also leave us a review. Apple podcast, same brain. Um, we'll probably see you next week. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, we're, we're back. Now we've got a setup. Everything's set. We're good. I might have a new desk. Look at this one. We don't have COVID. Oh my so. God. Look at this desk. <gasps> All right. Thank you guys. Wow. I'll see you later. I wonder when I can get it. Can I get it tomorrow? It says it's available. Uh, oh. It's not. It's not a same day desk. Got the, uh, those. Is that a dining room? Yeah. It wouldn't be practical. Look at the that thing. It's like not practical for sitting. It's a good question. It's, I not, mean, it's, not, a it's question. not a question. It's a statement. It's a statement. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm just gonna keep shopping. Like, look at this one. That's nice. Industrial free shipping. Industrial free shipping. That's cool.